Hey everyone, this is Grish from Kapwing, and today I'm going to show you how to make custom profile pictures for Clubhouse. So Clubhouse is an invite-only audio app where you can basically just drop into different chat rooms and many people are editing their profile pictures to make them look more professional or just stand out among the other participants in the room. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to make these different types of profile pictures, the most classic styles that you see on Clubhouse. And to do this, you can use the free online templates that we've made where all you have to do is upload your photo, make any other edits you want and then get it to Clubhouse. Before I jump into it, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with all of the tech tips and trends. And now let's get started. So I'm going to quickly first go over how to change your profile picture in Clubhouse. Go to the Clubhouse app and then click your profile icon in the top right corner. Then click your picture and click your picture again and then it'll bring up your photo library or you can take a photo, choose your photo and you can zoom in or if you want, then finish out by clicking done and it should update pretty quickly. Okay, so the first profile picture I'm gonna be showing you how to make is this one with a colored background. We'll be using this template, which is the first link in the description below. So you can just go ahead, click that, and then click make it once you get here. And the way that this template works is it's basically an image that you upload, and then you can change the color of the background using this option on the side here, or you can search in the images tab for an image to have as your background or upload your own. I'm gonna do an example with my own photo. I'm gonna upload my photo from my files. And this photo is already a perfect square where I'm in the center, which is ideal for profile pictures. If you do want to do things like crop the photo so that your face is in the center, you can use this, this option on the side, or you can even adjust the lighting and add filters to your photo. So I'm gonna quickly go into that adjust. I'm gonna increase the brightness a little bit and the contrast. And then the most important part of this type of profile picture is that you only have your face in the photo. So as all any background behind you, you want to erase so that it's really clean cut like in this example. So to do that, we have an image eraser in this editor. You can just click your photo and then click this erase tab on the side here. And there are two types of erasers in our editor. There's the magic wand, which allows you to just click and drag and delete sections of the photo that are the same colors. And then we also have a freehand erase tool that you can increase the size of uh, and just erase the pixels underneath that you drag over. So I often find that the freehand erase can be easier, especially if your background is multicolored like mine is, uh, but I will usually go in with this magic wand and try and get sections of the photo so it goes by faster. So erase any of the background of your photo. And then once you're happy with it, you can click done and it brings your photo right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this stock photo now that I have my background here. Then to change the background color, you can just click outside on the gray part of the canvas and there should be a background color palette that you can click, choose one of these colors or at enter your own hex code. Additionally, you can even use this eyedropper tool to choose a color from the photo. So if I click this and then roll over a color and choose that color, it will change the background to the color I chose. Another option, as I mentioned, is to use a image as a background. I like to go into the images tab here where you can search for anything and it sources from Google images. And if you're looking for one, gradient is a good search query. You can choose one and then resize it and to send it backward, click the photo and then click the send backward tool here. A variant of this kind of profile picture is one where you have a colored background, but then your photo is black and white. To do that easily, you can just click your photo and then click adjust over here and pull saturation all the way down to negative 100. And then you'll have this black and white, but colored background photo, which can look pretty cool too. Once you're ready to get your photo to Clubhouse, you can just click this red export image button here. And then your project will load for a few moments and your picture should be done. So if you see a small watermark in the corner, you can remove that for free just by signing into your free Kapwing account. And then to save it to your device, you can click download and then you can upload it to Clubhouse as your profile picture. So the second profile picture I'm gonna show you how to make is the one with Clubhouse's unique shape as a ring around the photo. So the first resource to make this kind of profile picture is the second link in the description. Basically you just choose your image and then you just choose your color. You can also choose whether you want a thin border or a thick border or just normal. I'm just gonna do normal. And then you can download it and it saves it as a PNG file. This one is really quick and easy, but with the limitation that you can't edit your photo at all. You can't adjust the lighting, you can't crop it, you can't 
make other edits and erase things. So we also made this template to add that square slash circle ring to your profile picture. To get to this template, you can click the third link in the description below, click make it again, just upload your photo as normal. And as I said, mine is already a perfect square, but you can of course crop it or adjust it on the side here. Then you'll want to click your photo and choose the send backward button here and send it all the way back so that it's behind this cream colored border, which is the color of Clubhouse. From here, you can click the ring, change things like the color of it. You can increase the width of it or decrease or increase the opacity. If you do increase the width, you wanna make sure that the border stays within the canvas. So as you can see, I increased it and now it's kind of getting cut off. So make sure you resize it down so that the whole border is still within the canvas. Once you're happy with it, then you can just click the red export image button again. After the project is loaded, if you see a watermark in the corner, you can click the sign in to remove watermark button, and then otherwise just click download to save the project. And then the last style that is seen commonly on Clubhouse is adding a circle ring to your profile picture. To get to this profile picture maker, you can click the fourth link in the description below, and then click make it once you get here. And like the other templates I've described, you basically can upload your photo and then adjust the border to your liking. So upload using the upload tab. As always, you can crop or adjust the lighting using these tabs on the side here or even erase parts of the photo but to send it backward just click the photo and then click send backward then to get rid of these corners that poke out you can just drag the rounded corners slider all the way to the end and your picture should be within the circle border now to adjust the actual border color and opacity and all that stuff you can click the circle you can change the outline width on the side here change the opacity use the color palette or the eyedropper tool to change the color of the outline. This is another style you can try out that uses the same circle ring. So click outside the canvas in this gray area and then click the eyedropper tool for background color. Then click the color of your ring. You might have to expand the circle a little bit to get rid of lines like this. And then once you're happy with it, as always, you click the red export image button. Remove the watermark by signing into your free Kapoing account, and then you can just click the download button to save the project to your device and get it to Clubhouse as your profile picture. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channels to stay up to date with all the trends and tips we have. Let us know if you have any questions or feedback in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.